Well, good morning. We're in chapter four of Jonah, concluding our time. So, draw up puppets kit. See you at the end. Hey guys, it's Polly. In Jonah chapter 4, we read about how Jonah was really grumpy because God spared the Ninevites. What? Really? Uh, what is wrong with Jonah? Did uh, being in the big fish make him extra grumpy? Well, Jonah really didn't like the Ninevites. They were, uh, you know, mean people. But God wanted to give them a chance to turn to him. Oh... I would have thought Jonah would be happy because God changed the, uh, you know, the Ninevites' hearts. I would have thought that too, but God also needed to humble Jonah and remind him that God alone is gracious and compassionate to anyone who seeks him. Oh, I am glad he is. We need his mercies every day. Ha ha ha. What do you know? We sure do. So, I was pondering. What did it look like when Jonah, you know, waited to see what would, uh, what would happen to the Ninevites? Huh? Let's check it out. Pshh. And now it's time for biblical reenactments with Polly's pals. Ah, I'll just sit here in my shelter and see what God will do to the Ninevites, stinky sinners. <clears throat> ah, oh, 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 my shelter is gone. Ah, what's going on? Yeah, I hate it. Yeah, I hate it all. I'm a sockworm. <laughs> oh, now my wonderful shelter is gone, and God isn't punishing the Ninevites. You have had pity on the plant for which you have not labored, nor made it grow, which came up in a night and perished in a night. And should I not pity Nineveh? Ah, I knew, Lord. You're right. I'm just a grumpy old prophet. Ah. And now it's time for deep thoughts with Blub Blub. Oh yes. God is gracious and compassionate to anyone who seeks him. The Lord was trying to make this clear to Jonah so he would get his eyes off himself and back on the Lord. If you keep your focus on the Lord, ha, you gonna be blessed. Garonji. I'm so happy. God is always gracious to me all the time. Even when, you know, one of my droids gets loose and gets in trouble. I always told him to watch where he rolls. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Jesus loves you. Ba 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 one of the reasons I like the book of Jonah is because I relate to Jonah. I'm sometimes grumpy when God asks me to do something. I can have a bad attitude. We read of so many of these men and women of God in the Bible. They're like, yes, Lord, I'll do it. And then we have Jonah going, ah, they repented. Ah, oh, now my plant's gone. Ah. And the I love him because that's me sometimes. I have a bad attitude. He's upset about his plant who gave him shelter being eaten by a worm, and yet he's not rejoicing that the Ninevites repented. That's me. That can be us sometimes. We need to fight that grumpiness and seek the Lord to have his vision. His vision for what God wants us to see. Because too often our eyes are on ourselves, how things affect us, how we feel about the situation. I don't feel good. I'm upset. I'm tired. A worm ate my shelter. And yet the Lord says, get your eyes off yourself and get your eyes on what I have done. You know what? Despite Jonah being grumpy, God used him. That that gives me hope for myself. <laughs> so with that, let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you for uh, Jonah and this amazing, amazing true story of what you did through him, Lord, despite his attitude. We love you, Jesus. Pray you'd use us, help our attitudes to be right before you. 
In Jesus' name and all God's kids said, Amen. God bless you. Mm -hmm.